Hi guys and welcome to a new sample doll opening and review video. So as you can see the sample doll is in a bag instead of a box and she's not coming with a stand otherwise hopefully she is having all her items with her. So this time we are going to dive into a fairy tale because this polyp from uh, 2016 is Polyp Gretel. She also has a brother called Ansel which I don't have because actually when I found him at that sample sale I already had run out of money buying the five polyp so I couldn't get her brother with her. So she comes with a card and I already took out her shoes and basically that should be it, the rest is the dog. So Pulip uh, Gretel here was the first one coming out of a new wave of fairy tale dolls designed by Groove. If you remember, Groove already designed uh, Snow White. They have a complete series with Snow White, Sentimental Noon, The Prince, and uh, I think it's the Isil Lumiere, which is the fairy godmother. They maybe also have, yeah, they have Pulip, um, the evil, like Pulip. Midnight, déjà vu? Midnight Velvet, who is the evil godmother, and Israel Midnight Deja Vu, who is the um, uh, godmother in disguise. So that's for the first fairy tale from the Polyp series, which is basically designed by Groove. And then they have the Cinderella uh, fairy tale, which have the Cinderella Princess Polyp, the Dahlia Cinderella, who is a patient version. There is a prince, is that? And I, was, I think the fairy godmother I was talking about is a Cinderella, it's part of the Cinderella. And they have a Buell, uh, evil stepsister or something like that. So basically Groove has been designing a fairy tale for a while, they stopped. And now they came out again with this new fairy tale which is a Pulip Gretel and Pulip Gretel has a brother who is Hansel and they have this sort of greenish um, theme to them. The thing, the only thing that I really regret about this uh, couple of Hansel and Gretel doll is that they don't have so much of a candy type of theme. Like they have a few candy, I'm going to show you the candy on this doll, but they don't have a lot of extreme candy thing. Uh, if you remember the fairy tale and Sal and Gretel, and Sal and Gretel are abandoned by their parents in the forest. And the first time they managed to come home, but the second time they got really lost. And instead of going home, they arrive at this cottage, and it's a house made of gingerbread. And so it's made of gingerbread, it has a lot of candy for the window, it's very delicious, so they start eating the house. But it's the house of the witch and the witch captures them. So basically that's a story, I'm not going to tell you the end of it. You probably already read it and if you haven't, well, it's a grim fairy tale so just crack yourself up and go online, you probably can find a very nice version for free. So basically uh, this is a candy fairy tale. So if you make Ansel and Gretel, it's like a German fairy tale so you need to have a German outlook which is pretty nicely made I think in the shape of the dress of this doll but you also need to have the candy type of sugary style and as you can see there is not much candy here so let me zoom on her and show her to you from close up and then uh, we're going to talk about the fairy tale again so our polyp gretel here she comes with a brown wig which is pretty nice because we had so many blonde doll recently. So she comes with a br brown wig separated in two at the back. So you can see it's pretty nice separation. We don't even see the wig cap during the separation, which is pretty great. And then she has those roll of hair, one on each side. It's adorable and very, very cute. And if you look at the front, she has her hair going on one side. So she doesn't have bang, which is also new. And she just has this V-shape here and the hair going on one side. And I think that's a nice effort of originality 
from a wig point of view. And then she has this um, headpiece. So this headpiece is just a fabric going from uh, one side to the other. On the inside you can see she has stripes designed, so white and brown, very light brown. Then on the outside it's a like beige fabric with white dots and on the top of it you have this big large piece of lace and at the center there is a running ribbon. You also have flowery lace all around. And then you have the only candy piece on this doll which is this sort of meringue shape a white felt thing with a little bit at the center and a little bow underneath. So that's the only candy thing you're going to see on this doll and I think they could have made a little more effort with the candy and maybe had some more candy on the rest of the outfit, especially at the back of the dress. And then this uh, headpiece is attached with a less ribbon and around her neck here. So it goes down her neck. It's, it's kind of probably easy to attach. Then she has a dress. So she comes with this dress, plain dress, which is made of that striped white and brown fabric. And she has a beige fabric with a little white dot here around her wrist. And it's attached together with a ribbon and a bow. And it has less at the edge. And it's just made plain dress going down, all the way down, until it's finished with less. So that's a very plain looking dress, and but on top of it she has this sort of scarf which is orange with green dots. And it's attached here around her neck and it has this V looking shape at the back. And then she has this sort of little coat dress like on the top of her dress so it has this black part at the front without sleeves and then it has green fabric with little soon dots on it so that that's why you can see the reflection of light is not uniform you can see all those little dots around then she has the same color fabric of her scarf all around it goes all around here it's orange with little green dots and the green fabric finishes at the back and then she has like little less around this design and she has little bows and this sort of dress on the top of the dress is closed here at the front with little buttons so it's pretty nice design it maybe look like a teeth shape I don't know and then she has flowery flowery style tight it's like white with a lot of flower on it and then she has little green shoes with green straps and brown heels so what I was thinking was it would have been nice to have instead of maybe the bow you could have some sort of candy shape because and someone Gretel from is all about candy if they never ate that candy they would never have gotten in trouble with the witch maybe so it's and then the witch tried to make Hansel go fat so he, she makes him eat a lot so basically you would think you would have a lot more candy around so anyway um, I haven't talked about her face up I'm sorry guys I'm doing everything wrong at the same time so her face up is actually pretty nice. She has a new style of eyebrows that I haven't seen on a pulley before. It's like a few strands of hairs at the center and then it goes long and it's like one single brush stroke. It's pretty nice. It's like kind of calligraphy style eyebrows. Then she has several colors at the top of her eyes. So she has a black eyeliner and then she has a white line, then she has some pink blush, then she has a grey line, and then two uh, reddish lines and one white line. It's pretty elaborate for a 
her eyes. And then underneath she has all those little eyelashes in a sort of brown orange color which is like is a, they're like going on in semicircle it's pretty nice and she has orange color on the inside of her eyes and of course she has green eyes which goes very well with her green dress and she has nice soft reddish pink lips it's darker at the center it's an more pinkish on the side and the thing is she has a very thin line in between her lips to mark the shape of them and normally a lot of polyps they have those little dots at the edge in the corner but she doesn't and I think this is pretty nice I kind of like the fact that she just has this line separating her lips and nothing else so as I said before uh, Pulip Gretel was the first to come out with her brother Ansel as a part of a new fairy tale series that Grief was making the second set of dolls that came out just came out recently it's the frog and the prince there is a doll Dana and the frog prince Caro which is an easel and basically I think that this way of making fairy tale is very nice because Groove is actually creating pretty decent looking doll very elaborated in their outfit even if this one is missing some candies but it's a pretty elaborated work it has a lot of potential it's a type of fairy tale that dolls that we haven't seen before like this character in this particular outfit and shape doesn't exist and recently Groove has this um, collaboration with Disney and the thing is it doesn't even say the Groove name it doesn't even say the Pulip name it's just uh, the Pulip in a Cinderella Disney outfit and I think well pre first of all I don't like that doll and second of all I think if you compare the Cinderella version that we previously had to the new Cinderella version as uh, a new Cinderella version is lacking a lot and I'm not very happy with this turn so I hope Groove is still going to make happy and nice beautiful fairy tale doll instead of having a poor lower quality Disney version uh, I very I really regret like if they don't make uh, new fairy tale dolls and just keep on doing the Disney only I don't think I'm gonna be getting any of them but like the first one doesn't look as good as this one actually so basically uh, please let me know what you think about the fairy tale doll like do you prefer the groove version when they actually recreate their own version of the character with a particularly designed outfit and make an original doll or do you prefer the remade of Disney version that has been seen over and over again since the Disney movie came out. So just let me know what you think. Uh, tell me which is your favorite fairy tale, which doll you are hoping to see. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!